and Jerry Rock and shit! The Boys! Brendan, what are you doing? We're selling carrots. Why? See carrots, half price. Brennan, is that a carrot? No, that's a tornado. Wicked good prices. Why are you doing this? Money, at lack of ad revenue. Ah! Brennan, ah! Brennan, where's Jerry? He's on swing break right now. Good job, Jerry, you're doing a great job. Break time's over. Jerry, heads up, put your safety goggles on. Brennan, what? why are they half price? We chop them in, Jerry, come back. We chop them in half. So that makes them half priced? Yeah. Brennan, I'm not really sure that math adds up. Sure it does, Allie. You wanna buy some? Yeah. Four dollars a care. What? Basically, carrots are measured out than other things. A care is this. 84 bucks, man. Are you kidding? Oh, Dude, listen, lack of ad revenue, you wouldn't believe how broke we are. Yeah! Holy crap, Brennan. My star! Carrots! How much money did you make so far? That Brendan. What? I hit the house. How much money did you make? What do you want, Allie? Store's closed. Business, as you can see, it's about nighttime. The raccoons are gonna be coming out real quick here. What are you? Oh my god! Raccoons, Allie! The raccoons! Brennan. That's an expensive chair. The parents will pay for it. Are they though? God, Brendan. Allie, look at me on carrot ISIS. No. no, 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 no. Brendan, ouch. Brendan, you need to cut it out. Brendan, you need to cut this out. Why? Cut I have a out. business. Clearly, it's not working. So cut it out. How dare you? No, no. <laughs> No! Allie, I'm, I'm colorblind! I'm colorblind! Ah! Brennan, you need to pack this up and go inside right now. No, Allie, I just got my first customer. You paid $74 for that? No, Allie. First time's free. Brendan. What? Allie, you gotta keep them coming. Hey! Buy them! So I banned Brendan from the stupid carrots. And I asked him to check my oil as punishment. I don't really know if that's a good idea, but it's too late now, so we'll see. Why do you open this freaking thing? So I'm standing back here ah! because I really don't think this is a good idea. Ah! Brennan, I don't know. Did you just call that one guy? No. Charlie? You need oil. I do. I found black stuff. Captain, we're going to see. Ah! Hi, everybody. It's me. Off center Brendan for our first episode of Brendan does a corporate review of a product so we can eat another day. Today, so this company reached out to me and they said, Hey Brendan, um, we have a lot of work boots. And I said, Okay, cool. And they said, We also have work shoes. It got my attention. So they sent me these bad boys. This is a, I'm gonna call it alarm, alarm, alarm. I'm gonna call it a lawnmower. Basically, some of it's Chinese, some of it's American. They're steel toes, so literally, like, it can ruin your tables. The ferret's in the fucking bag! And try to eat your fingers through the bags. Here you go, little buddy. I used to work in a factory, and, like, I had a really crappy pair of No, these are not for eating! I used to work in a factory, and I had really crappy shoes, so I was like, okay, yeah, send me a few pairs, and I agreed to make a little video on them. I tell you what, for work shoes, they're pretty freaking nice. I mean, if you look at this, like, 
look at all that stuff right there. Look at like the design of it. Like they put some time into it. It's steel toe, so literally, like if you want to put your carrots in there and you're scared someone's gonna smash them, it's no. Or you want to put a ferret in the head of it and slam a hammer in on it because she's being a butthole. It's just gonna give her a little bit of a headache. She won't die. Those are my fucking shoes. Short round. I'm noticing there's like. A bottom to them. They're actually pretty nice. Uh, and then there's like a custom, it's like a Dr. Scholl's insole. So like, and they have this shit. Oh, did I tell you guys, I, I tell you guys I'm not wearing anything but underpants. But yeah, I, hopefully these guys are satisfied with this review. Um, I mean, after I give my dad his pair, I guess I will uh, show you what I can do with my pair. But first, let's bring a pair to my dad and see what he, stop! Let's see what he thinks. Okay, so um, I also used to work in, uh, oh, that was a cop. Am I gonna get pulled over for vlogging and driving? Okay, so I got his work boots here. I'm gonna, my car's a mess. Yeah, and I got him lunch, dude. My dad likes the fatty foods. He likes the fatty food. So this is my dad. You don't see him often, because he's busy doing adult stuff while I'm being an idiot. But uh, I got you shoes. They're work shoot. Seems like we're gonna die. Here you go, Pops. These are steel toe shoes. Yours are falling apart. So here you go, brand new ones for free. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. They look pretty cool too. They won't make you look younger, but at least your feet will be comfy. Oh, they look great. Super. Hey Josh, you better put on a seat. But this is Josh. I used to work with him. He's a he's a three pack a day smoker. Mm -mm. And uh, he wears hats on backwards that have no hole. Oh my God, you better. Put Mr. Mr. Down. Oakley man. Okay, so my dad loved his free pair, but I'm gonna have to be a little bit harsh right here. Um, let's see what these shoes can actually do. Okay, so here's a list of scenarios. I'm that new guy who's shoveling at your house and I can't get off my phone and I'm distracted and I accidentally slam my shovel into my foot. <laughs> Safety! Now the next test, the test of tests. Can it float? Well, what do you fucking know, dude? Shoe even Jesus can stand by. Lawn Mern. Lawn Mern. I, I think you know what this means. Lawn Mern. Lawn Mern. It's the ultimate test to see if these are the absolute best work shoes you can get. And I might have to buy a new lawnmower. My name is Paul. I'm a clinically blind man that can't clearly see a shoe in his yard. And my son has used the shoe as a tank. But what he doesn't know is dad had to mow the lawn today. And will his shoes survive? Chickens, move. Larnmern, if this survives this, I give your shoe an A++ rating. Damn kids never mow the lawn for me. They never mow the lawn. Dad has to do everything by himself. Oh, woe is me. There you have it, kids. Lawn Mern. A little bit of a scuff in the bag can survive if your kids leave your shoes in the yard. Lawn Mern, you get my A++ rating. Down below, guys, is their link. You can get their shoes there. Leave them in the yard if you want. Lawn mowers won't hurt them. I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I previously said. I want to be honest with you guys. I'm actually really surprised that I survived a lawn mower. Like, I was expecting it to shred. And, like, I was expecting to get some fallback from the company. But now that it survived, it makes you guys look really good. So, I guess like A++ rating, I suppose. So I guess for now on every company that sends me products, I guess send me two because I'm gonna do the classic lawnmower test. If it survives lawnmower, you get the Brendan XA A++ rating. Unless there's like a few thousand dollars, and I'll, I might not do it, I might blow it up. I bought three sacks of carrots for the deer, but no deer have come yet. Hey, hey. Look, carrot. It's a it's a carrot. Eat the yeah. There you go, savage. Do something. To, eat the. It's a fucking carrot. Eat it. Also in the news, Allie's really mad at me because I wouldn't let her bring home a tub of G fuel. So um, she's not here right now, and she didn't help me with this review. And uh, so there's no Allie today. Maybe tomorrow, until she quits again. She hasn't quit yet. 
I think she might quit. I don't know, 50-50. So yeah, basically what I'm doing is I'm just throwing carats around the yard for the deer. I mean, I'm not gonna hunt the deer. I kinda just wanna have deer around here and maybe make one a pet one day and name them. Hey, no, don't, you won't be jealous. You're a chicken, they're deer, there's a difference, okay? Okay. So yeah, I've just been throwing carrots everywhere. So wherever they land is where they go. Okay, so this is gonna be the end of today's video. Now, I'm starting a competition. In the next video, comment shenanigans. Well, actually, no. Shut the fuck up, Brendan. In this video, comment shenanigans if you've made it this far. And then I will pick a comment at, uh... <sighs> I'll pick a comment while I'm editing tomorrow's video, and somebody at the very beginning of the video will get their comment shown on the beginning of the video with their tag. Ooh, people from TikTok will be showing up, so be ready for the competition. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Are you ready for it? Yeah, to the freaking. Yeah.